Hello again, this is JD, and what we're going to be going over here is uh, modifying a uh, Radio Shack. Hold on a second here, I get this mic real quick. Just want to click in and out of it, but uh, focus isn't working the best it could, but uh, anyway, this is the Radio Shack. Model number 120587. See if I can get in there for a good shot at it. Again, if I can get this micro to work the way it's supposed to. It's the 120587. Uh, Let's anyway, just get the number down. It's uh, 20 some bucks at Radio Shack. And the first thing we're going to do modify this is we're going to have to do a very simple pin bend inside the unit and I'm going to try to show you exactly where you need to do everything to make this work the way it's supposed to. First thing we're going to do is we've got to remove these exterior screws here. There's three of them. One right here, one right here, and one right here. So let's get to it. Move those screws good little screwdriver like this will come in handy. Be careful with your pins. And when you're separating it, you want to be careful not to uh, bend any pins out. Okay, this one still doesn't quite want to come out. This one's staying stuck underneath the good old. Anyway, once they're loose, you should be able to separate the board, as you can see. So you want to separate the board very carefully. Okay, and watch it with these wires here because then that's when your little screws are going to come out. Now be careful with the board, as you can see. The board is connected together by some wires here. And these wires you want to make sure that you don't separate any of them from the solder joints here. Worst comes to worst, you might have to do a little soldering, but uh, yeah, it's not too difficult to replace. Okay. Now, carefully, the next step is to take this board apart. As you can see, there's going to be some screws. You have a screw here, one up here, and one here. And those are going to remove it. Get your screwdriver and try to restore them in the order that you take them out. A little magnetic screwdriver would come in handy for these, but not really necessary. And just keep them as close to orderly as you possibly can. Yeah. <coughs> Success, dear? Hold on. Oh, the signage. As you can see, we're removing the third screw here. Yes, these directions are, are available on YouTube at several other sites. Um, and since you're here, you can hold that and just kind of zoom in on the little area here. The hard part here is going to be get rid of that strap and shit. And very carefully work the board apart because there's a pin underneath. Once you work it up, you'll feel the clip, the very chip itself is it's locked in here. Okay. Now, if you look, there's a little row of connectors here. Does that help? Uh, two rows of pins. Six pins on the Hold on. Seven it's, pins on the hold front. on. This is... I can't zoom in close enough to see it without it being... Try this. that help? Can't get close enough on the pins. You All might I can have to, you have to the camera a closer. But okay. As it, you can see, the board's apart. Here's a little chip area you're concerned with. Move the light out of the way. See that better? Try the built-in light. Okay. I guess I can want to work either. But that 